So it is no secret that saving money can be incredibly difficult. You know, you have budgets, uh, they're tight, salaries are set, but one important tactic can really help to seamlessly boost your savings in no time at all. Ashley Robinson from First Florida Credit Union joins me now. We all sit down. We remember to pay those bills every month, but there is someone else we have to remember to pay as well. Ourselves, <laughs> absolutely. And um, really, when you think about it, we've done a recent study we saw through Bankrate. Only 21% of Americans uh, or 21 percent of Americans aren't saving anything at all. So one in five people are not moving any money towards their savings account. And so we want to change that narrative. We've got a new year, new goals. And so one way you can do that is by paying yourself first. So there are some things that you can do to make sure that you pay yourself that doesn't yes. involve getting into the car, driving to the bank, taking money out of the ATM and stashing it someplace in the house. Right? You can really do this automatically. So you're taking all the steps out of it and also maybe the reasons that you don't exactly. do it out of We're it. We're taking all of that self-control issue out, all that financial willpower that it would take to move that money into your savings account. All of that's out of the equation so it goes seamlessly for you. And that's automating your paying yourself first and automation is key in this so we're going to start right with your paycheck we're going right to the source go to your employer and ask them especially if you're receiving a direct deposit already can you separate the direct deposit into multiple accounts that way you take the middleman out right take yourself out of that equation and you're taking your money straight from your employer to your savings account and you can set up whatever portion of that money you want of course maybe it's a specific percentage or a specific dollar amount starting small can still lead to big savings but it's going to be a surefire way to make sure you're putting money into savings when you get paid what's nice is is because there is savings let's say for you know as you get older but you could also use this as a way to save for you know that vacation or, or maybe tuition for your kids for college all of your goals all of your goals now if your employer doesn't have that ability to split up that direct deposit. Maybe you still get a paper check. That's all right. Next step is for you. We can automate at our checking account, right? So you receive your paycheck in, and now you're in the driver's seat. Setting up a recurring automatic transfer from your checking account to your savings account shortly after payday We'll make sure you're still getting that money put into your savings account and you do want to do it right after payday right not when you've paid all of the bills because then usually it's like maybe you don't have that much and and i we're not yes. suggesting that you not pay your bills but the point is is that sometimes whatever you have left over right. you start thinking well i have this left over i'll start going out to dinner you just and want to make it, it a priority absolutely do it along with your bills but before you go and go out to dinner go have fun with friends go shopping and you find nothing in the in the bank at the end of the month you know, I think it's interesting because I think that a lot of people just make an assumption that, well, I've got a 401k through work or I have a pension. I don't really need to save because they figure they'll be taken care of when it's time to retire. But I mean, the, the, the price of everything continues to go Absolutely. up and we'll continue to do that. And we can't really just, we can't rely on that being enough with inflation and everything going around in the world that we live in. We've got to be making some dedicated efforts to make sure that there's going to be funds for us when we retire or even when we want to buy a new car or go on a vacation. And that leads us to our next one. We want to automate our savings goals. Like you said, we want to set it up. I know savings can be hard, but we're going to make it a little bit of fun and you can set up separate savings accounts for those goals. You can even name those savings accounts for those goals. So it can say, my new ride, or Europe, here I come, <laughs> right? And we can be setting up those automatic transfers to go into those specific accounts to meet those goals. And as we're checking in and seeing those uh, balances start to increase and enjoying that interest, it's going to ramp up the excitement for us getting there and motivate us to save even more to achieve those things. It's like setting the goal of wanting to get into shape. As soon as you start going to the gym more often, you start feeling good, right. you keep going you back. See the, the progress. same thing, when you see the progress, you log on to your bank, you're like, oh, wow, look, I've got 60 bucks Absolutely. in there. You know? And it didn't even feel like Absolutely. I had to do much to put it in there. And our very last step that is still very key uh, is automating your bills. Um, missed payments, late fees, overdrafts, that just takes money out of your pocket. It takes away the money you could have been putting into your savings account. So by automating your bills, whether you're going straight to your different companies and setting up automatic payments, or even utilizing your financial institution's bill payer, First Florida has a bill payer service that's integrated into our online banking, so it makes it really easy to set up those payments so that you're not going to miss them. 
You can also group those payment dates. That might require a call to a company, but you can group those payment dates to when it's most convenient for you after you get your yeah, paycheck. Based on when you get paid, if you get paid Absolutely. monthly or twice a month. Take all that guesswork out of it so that you're going to achieve your savings goals in 2020. Great advice. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, Do ma appreciate it. Rich? Oh, we'll be right back.